My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you, but I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. She has really nice handwriting. All right, let's go and talk to Marie. Ma Marie? Mary? Where the fuck is she? Mary Linton. Fatherhood and other dreams. Oh, we got ten minutes to do this mission. Let's go and fucking talk to her quickly. Oh, come on. Let me run. I'm so looking forward to the online part of this. Can't wait to see what it's like. I don't know how they're going to outdo GTA 5 online. Because that was really big hit for a lot of people. Although, to be fair, I honestly preferred uh, Red Dead Redemption 1 online over GTA 5 online. Simply because, obviously, cowboys. I just hope they do this one better. Although, I don't know how they're going to outdo the first one, because that was fucking amazing. I guess we'll see in the next, well, ne not next month, this month is the first today, as of recording this. Hey, mister, can you help me? Please help me. What's the matter, young lady? Um, sure, where'd you live? If it gets my honor back up. Don't normally trust no outside man. No fence, mister. Just don't trust them much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider? Yeah, your whole life I've been. Horse don't help much in Lagrano. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. Last horse we bugged, got his foot stuck in the mud, get a came and ripped his leg off. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came in, took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time could come out with a rifle on him. I just no word of lie. <laughs> Jeez. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? Le Grat? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to set them. We getting close. Don't die or not. As long as we can drop you off, you're talking a lot of shit. <laughs> Okay. Um, Emerald Ring. Hope 
I'd never have to be on that horse again, dang animal. Bit rude. Oh, we're back up to three thousand seven hundred and seven dollars. I'm not entirely sure where we got all that extra money from, but I ain't gonna complain. I know we got quite a bit from those uh, grave robbers, and like nearly twenty dollars each from them fuckers. Let's go and see how Mary is. We've got ten minutes ish still. Nine. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was gonna do, but at least we got our honor going back up again. We're nearly back at halfway. We'll be there any minute. I hope. Good girl. How can the city be here like this and then there be like that? The swamp land there like that is so close. Although I suppose there is a place in America that actually is like that. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. Sorry lady, not right now. Shut up with your dinging tram. Oh, we can play dominoes to the left of us. Shut up, mister. Please tell me I still got a bit more. Oh, thank fuck. I just, I just remembered about him. Oh, nearly had heart attack. I think that guy just called me the N-word. Arthur, Arthur. Up yeah. Here. You came. Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Quick, get on the horse and run. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. I'll grow a beard, Every too. Call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. <laughs> I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? Uh. You and Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Nah, I'm good. Please. <coughs> I'm sorry. I am. I should have asked someone else, <coughs> but. Well, I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. <laughs> it wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. Uh, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Sure. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been <laughs> gambling and drinking and other things. Oh. Filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some <laughs> consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Yeah, but you didn't. No, I didn't. But 
Well, I don't know. Where are we going? That's not that far. What do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. <laughs> Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. I love how Arthur didn't even help her down then. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. Um, three, two, Can't stand there. one. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady at your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. What is this dumbass doing? This way. Yeah, I can see that. He's wearing bright red jacket with a black top hat. Done a decent job at fucking styling her hair. Oh no, shit. I've got eyes, woman. I can see. Because you tell me you change your name to Sherlock S. Such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Mm. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Yeah, I'm not blind, Mary. Come here, quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! The... Wrecked. He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. No, he won't. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. I grew a beard. It's not like I'm fucking covered in blood. He just went left down that alleyway. Oh my god. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Do you really have to tell me everywhere he's Don't going? I, I can see. Saw you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Come on, Stumbler. Hurry up. Stumble quicker. I need to get this mission over and done with so I can fucking end the episode and start the next one.
What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother, mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you <laughs> found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone. Yay. Mother. Time to kick some ass. Probably. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Come here, you bugger. Hey, stop that coach. How am I supposed to chase it when my horse is half a mile away? Shadow, why aren't you coming to me? You dick. If you don't listen to me again, I'll sell you. That was just rude. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. Get back here. Come on. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. I can't get any closer. Oh, that got me a bit closer. Yoink. Get off. Yeah, my my coach now. Let me go. Nope. I'm feeding you to some gators, mate. Time to see the wildlife. Can I just cross the river here? Did That's not really a river. Come on. Get out. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say 50. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus. $25, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. That's what I thought. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Some... Dick. I know that lowered my uh, thingy, but he was trying to mug me off. No, we don't want to get on. Oh, actually, let's loot the wagon. Might as well. We've got it here. A naval compass. Platinum earring. Mate. Top dollar here. Coin stack. Eleven dollars. 
fourteen dollars. Not a bad haul. Oh, he's not dead. He's just unconscious. I don't know why that lowered my honor. Well, that episode's an extra fucking six minutes long. And counting. Take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, okay, they're calling it a trolley, not the tram. I think yeah. we call it a tram in Got England, and back. maybe they call it a trolley. I won't ask. Probably best not. They didn't kill him. I just left him unconscious. What are you doing now? Right this moment. Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, sure, why not? Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> if I'd known this mission was going to be this long, I'd have given it its own episode. Business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. <laughs> You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lamb. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. I bet I have to watch this. I think I fucking do. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Anything gonna happen? Welcome! <laughs> and thank you for that thunderous applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a fire. Are you of in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your oh. curiosity. Fire, <laughs> snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. Okay. Entertainment is a gift that will Well, I guess we're watching this then. Better than 40 minute episode. Larder or root cellar so far. full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly <laughs> stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. For joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. They come from Rolls, Strawberry, and Valentine. Sing 
singing a song and drinking wine across by your swamp and well, over that's the sea. Good. We're well, heading down to Santa Anita. If your wagon is broke, get to the blacksmith shop. Don't worry yourself with planting a crop. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. We're heading to the Sunday night town. Carpet bag is cold, Ooh, miners well, and mountain gold. Loosen them stirrups and let off that yoke. Pretty young things say, come with me. In the parlors and brothels of San Dani. The porter is drinking and the whistle just blew. The train's are heading to the land of voodoo. You won't sleep a wink, I can guarantee. Let's go drinking down in San Dani. Still says St. Dennis to me. Come on, clap. I think he did. Uh, I don't think I can just get up, can I? I mean, I can, but it'd be a bit rude. Okay, I um, might piss off that lady next to us. Perfect. Oh, I see you. you. You love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. This might She's be an hour long episode. And I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Stop it. Interesting. It's a shame you can't oh, zoom in. Look. <laughs> she stays away from the curtain. <laughs> she sure is hot. We want more. Uh, I'm going to antagonize her now. See what he says. <laughs> wow. I'm bored of her now. Hurry up. All right, fuck it. Come on, let's get out. I can't be else watching this. All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mister Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Thought in the name we could have done that. I would have left that like twenty minutes ago. Longer. Sorry. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to. Oh, 
Is it too late for us, Arthur? No. Can't lie to you. I'm born in man, Mary. If I, if anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look. There's back. a guy over there looking suspicious. Got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur. If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will once I get some money. I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. Mate, we got like over three grand, nearly four. And that was that. What was I supposed to do? Catch the wagon and take it to the secluded spot within 1 minute 45 seconds. I think we need a fast horse to do that. Anyway, next time we will be doing... What was that? Mary Bear. No, no, and trice no. Oh, she can fucking wait. Next mission is... With Jose Trelawney. Oh, jo Josea. Was it Josea? I think so. Uh, a fine night out of debauchery. So that's what we'll be doing next time. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're lucky. If you're not, not if you don't, as per usual. And I'll see you on the next episode.